Hey there! Welcome to Solved. In this video, we will be analyzing how to use steam tables and we will be determining steam properties from said steam tables. And we will do that by answering this example. Determine the missing property, either pressure, temperature, or quality, along with specific volume, specific enthalpy, and specific entropy for water at each of the following states. Letter A. At a temperature of 300 degrees Celsius and specific internal energy of 2,780 kilojoules per kilogram. And letter B, at a pressure of 2,000 kilopascals and specific internal energy of 2,000 kilojoules per kilogram. Let's start with letter A. For any given state of a system, we need to have two independent properties for us to determine all of the other properties for that system. For this example, we were given exactly two, that is temperature and internal energy. The first thing that we have to determine is, is this saturated steam? And if it's not saturated, is it superheated or is it subcooled? And for that, we need to head on to our steam tables. I will be using these steam tables from Fundamentals of Thermodynamics by Sontag because they are easier to use. However, if you master the skill of reading a steam table, then you can use any steam table you want. Let's first take a look at saturated properties or the properties of saturated water. We are looking for a temperature of 300 degrees Celsius and we will see if the given internal energy is within the range of that of the saturated liquid and that of the saturated vapor. If it is, then it is a saturated mixture. If it's not, then it's either superheated or subcooled. Here we are at 300 degrees Celsius. Our given internal energy is 2,780 kilojoules per kilogram. If you take a look at the internal energy of the saturated liquid and of the saturated vapor, our given internal energy is out of the range. It's greater than the internal energy of the saturated vapor. Therefore, our system is a superheated steam. For superheated steam, we simply take a look at different tables. Let's head on to those tables. We are now at the tables for superheated steam or superheated water vapor. Now what we are looking for is a temperature of 300 degrees Celsius but an internal energy of 2,780 kilojoules per kilogram. That would give us then the system pressure based on how these tables are made. So our goal is to take a look at the values of the internal energy for these tables and the value of the internal energy at a temperature of 300 degrees Celsius must be 2,780 kilojoules per kilogram. So for example, if my pressure is 10 kilopascals at a temperature of 300 degrees Celsius, the internal energy is 2,812, which is higher than that of our given, so therefore we have to increase the pressure. Looking for higher pressures, such as for 300 kilopascals, temperature 300 degrees Celsius, the internal energy is still too high at 2,807. Therefore, we should increase the pressure more. If we take a look at the table for 1,600 kilopascals of pressure, at 300 degrees Celsius, the internal energy is 2,871.03. This is very close to our internal energy value. And at 1,800 kilopascals, 300 degrees Celsius, the internal energy is 2,776.83. That means that our pressure is somewhere in between 1,600 kilopascals and 1,800 kilopascals. We just have to interpolate. Okay, we are interpolating under the same temperature but differing pressures and differing internal energies. Now that we know the values, let's go back to the board and interpolate. We now have here the values of the internal energies at 300 degrees Celsius for pressures of 1,600 and 1,800 pascals. Our given internal energy, 2,780, sits in between 2,781 and 2,777. Our interpolation looks something like this. Assume that our given value, that's 2,780, for the specific internal energy is equal to Y. The interpolation becomes 2,781.03 minus the value of Y divided by 2,781.03 minus the lower value, 2776.83. This is equal to the upper value on the pressure side, minus x, over the upper value, minus the lower value. All we have to do now is to solve for the value of x. A simple way to do this, since we are solving for multiple properties, is to first solve for the value 
of the left-hand side of the equation. And then we save that value for later interpolations. That is 2781.03 minus our y, which is 2780, divided by 2781.03 minus 2776.83. That ratio is 0 0.245. We then save this as the value of A. Now, whenever we have to interpolate for different properties under the same given, we simply have to multiply this ratio with the denominator on the right-hand side of the equation. That is 1,600 minus 1,800. And then this value is simply subtracted from 1,600 or the upper value. Our interpolated pressure is 1,649 kilopascals. Keep in mind that whenever you are interpolating, your final value should be between the upper and the lower value. In our case, 1,649 is between 1,600 and 1,800. Also, another sign that you are correct is that if you take a look at the value of our y, which is 2,780, this is closer to the upper value than it is to the lower value. Therefore, in your solved value of x, it should be closer to the upper value in pressure compared to that of the lower value. And from the looks of it, 1,649 is closer to 1,600 than it is to 1,800. Therefore, we are confident that our interpolation is correct. Okay? Now, let's do that for specific volume, specific enthalpy, and specific entropy. For specific volume, the upper value is 0 0.15862. And the lower value is 0 0.14021 cubic meters per kilogram. Performing the interpolation, we simply recall our ratio, that is 0 0.245. We multiply this to the difference between the upper and the lower values, 0 0.15862 minus the lower value, 0 0.14021. And then this value will be subtracted from the upper value. 0.15862 minus the answer. Our specific volume is 0 0.1541 cubic meters per kilogram. Checking our answer, it is between the upper and lower values for the specific volume, and it is closer to the upper value compared to the lower value. Let's do the same for enthalpy. Our upper value is 3034.83. And our lower value is 3029.21. Interpolating, we recall our ratio. We multiply this by the difference of the upper minus lower. That is 3034.83 minus 3029.21. And then this is subtracted from the upper number, 3034.83 minus the answer. Our specific enthalpy, 3,033 kilojoules per kilogram. Finally, for entropy, the upper value is 6.8844, while the lower value is 6.8226. Recall the ratio, multiply by the difference, 6.8844 minus 6.8226. And then subtract this from 6.8844. Our specific entropy is 6.8692 kilojoules per kilogram per Kelvin. And that is how we use interpolation to complete the physical properties of a specified state. All of these values came from the steam table, and we only needed the values of two independent properties to start. Let's take a look at letter B. We are now given the pressure as 2,000 kilopascals and the specific internal energy is 2,000 kilojoules per kilogram. Again, let's first take a look if these sets of properties are for a saturated mixture or for a superheated or subcooled system. We first take a look at the saturated properties and we see here that at 2,000 kilopascals of pressure, our internal energy would range from 906.42 if it's a saturated liquid and 2,600.26 if it is a saturated vapor. Our given internal energy is 2,000 kilojoules per kilogram. It is between these two values. Therefore, we are confident that our given system is a saturated mixture.
That means that it is a mixture between a saturated liquid and a saturated vapor. From our given set of data, the first property that we will be able to solve for is the quality. That is because we have the actual specific internal energy. And from the steam tables, we have determined the specific internal energy of the saturated liquid and saturated vapor at the same pressure, that is 2,000 kilopascals. Okay? Solving for quality, we have the internal energy minus the internal energy of a saturated liquid divided by the difference between the internal energies of the saturated vapor and the saturated liquid. Substituting our values, we have 2,000 minus 906.42 divided by 2,600.26 minus 906.42. Our steam quality is 0 0.646. This means that our system is 64.6% vapor and the remainder of that is liquid. From here on, we can use the value of the steam quality to determine the specific volume, specific enthalpy, and specific entropy of the system. From the steam tables, we were also able to determine that the saturation temperature is equal to 212.42 degrees Celsius. For a saturated system, there is only one value of saturation temperature that matches with the value of a saturation pressure. Okay? If the temperature of the system is higher than that of the saturation temperature for a specific pressure, that means that the system is superheated. Let's move on to determining all of the other properties. To make things easier for us, let us fill out this table containing the specific properties for both saturated liquid and saturated vapor, and then later we will solve for the property for the system. The specific volume for a saturated liquid at this pressure is 0 0.001177 cubic meters per kilogram, and for the saturated vapor, 0 0.09963. For the specific enthalpy of the saturated liquid, we have 908.77. For the saturated vapor, we have 2799.51. For the specific entropy of the saturated liquid, we have 2.4473. And for the saturated vapor, we have 6.3408. You can verify all of these numbers by taking a look at your steam tables. Now, if you will recall, we earlier solved for the quality as the property, let's call it Y, minus the property at saturated liquid conditions, divided by the property at saturated vapor conditions, minus the property at saturated liquid conditions. We can rearrange this equation for us to determine the value of the property. That is, the value of the property Y is equal to the value of the property at saturated liquid conditions plus the quality multiplied by the difference between the value of the property at saturated vapor conditions minus the value of the property at saturated liquid conditions. With this equation, we can now substitute everything and solve for the remaining three properties. For the specific volume, we have 0 0.001177 plus quality 0.646 times the difference 0 0.09963 minus 0 0.001177. Our specific volume is 0 0.06478 cubic meters per kilogram. As a guide for these calculations, you can also gauge where the value of the property for the system should be nearer. Should it be nearer the value for the saturated vapor or should it be near the value for the saturated liquid? That depends on the value of the quality. If you have a high quality that's greater than 50%, that means that the value for the property of the system must be near the value for that of the saturated vapor. And if you have a low value of the quality, the opposite should be true. You should be closer to the value of the saturated liquid. Let's try this for the enthalpy. The enthalpy of a saturated liquid is 908.77. We add that to the quality, 0.646, multiplied by the difference 2799.51 minus 908.77. Our specific enthalpy is 2130.19 kilojoules per kilogram. And then finally for entropy, we have 2.4473 plus quality 0.646 multiplied by the difference 6.3408 
minus 2.4473. Our specific entropy is 4.9625 kilojoules per kilogram per Kelvin. These are now the values of the remaining properties of our system. Thank you for listening and consider this problem solved. Wow.